I am Anil Kumar and we will solve a trigonometric equation with compound angle in this particular video. Solve for x in the interval 0 to 2 pi. 3 sin 2x plus cos x equals to 0. That is the equation given to you. I hope you remember what is sin 2x. Sin 2x is equals to 2 sin x cos x. Correct. 2 sin x cos x. So we will use this formula here. So we can write our equation as 3 times instead of sin 2x we can write this as 2 times sin x cos x plus cos x equals to 0. That becomes our equation. Now we can factor cos x. So if you factor cos x what do you get? 3 times 2 6 sin x from the first term and 1 from the second term. For this equation to be true there are two particular solutions. For one, you could write cos x equals to 0, right? So cos x equals to 0. For the other, 6 sin x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, cos x equals to 0 gives you how many solutions? You are working in the domain 0 to 2 pi, correct? So cosine function is like what? So let me sketch one and show you. Cosine function starts with 1, right? So that is how it is. And as you can see, it is 0 at 2 points. These are your two zeros. These zeros are at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So that is the solution from the first factor. Now here, 6 sin x plus 1 will give us sin x equals to minus 1 divided by 6, right? So those how many solutions do we expect from there? We expect two solutions from there, right? Sine function, you know, is kind of like this, right? Sine function is kind of like this, which starts at 0. And if you say minus some value, then you are expecting these two solutions, correct? So that is how we need to find two solutions for the second factor. So let us understand how to find these solutions. So in a coordinate plane, sine is negative in coordinate 3 and in coordinate 4. That means we are looking for acute angles in these coordinates. Let this acute angle be beta. So what this angle beta is? We say beta equals to sine inverse of 1 over 6, right? Acute angle has to be positive. So we need to use our calculator that to in radians right because 2 pi so in radians let's change it to radians which is 4 option and now we'll do sine inverse of 1 divided by 6 within brackets so we get a beta value as equals to 0 0.167 okay or we can write okay so we'll approximate this to 0 0.17 okay radians so that is the value of beta so the two solutions for x will be x equals to pi plus 0 0.17 and the other will be 2 pi minus 0 0.17, right? So that gives us, let's add pi to this. So add pi, so we get what? 3.3. .3. So let us say this is 3.3 .3 radians. And here we'll do 2 pi, oh, you can use 6.28 also, right? 6.28 which is 3 times 2 times 3.14 minus 0 0.17 let us see right let's approximate so we get 6.11 radians correct so these are the two values when sine x will be minus 1 over 6 combine your solutions and write down your answer so your answers are pi by 2 3 pi by 2 and these radian values to one decimal place will be 3.3 .3 radians and 6.1 radians. So that is how you could answer such a question. I hope that helps. Thank you.